Hi Alan, it's Karen O here, just sitting on my back porch, relaxing after a long day of babysitting. And this is my favorite thing to do. I just take my little sippy cup, my favorite drink. Did you know you don't, you don't have to do anything to this? You can just pour it and I can put it in this and my kids don't even know I'm drinking. So that's one of the things retirement gives you. You can sip this anytime. So anyway, if you're watching this, it is August 27th and this is your first day of retirement or your last day of work. I am so excited for you. I am so happy for you. What a great decision. And I know you have your retirement all planned out. So you're gonna just, you're just gonna love it. So I have a lot to say, just a little time to say it in. Um, but it's hard to believe it's been 16 years, almost 16 years since we met. And for those first few years, I was your OCC. And I remember working in the field with you. And I actually remember saying to Ann after a field day with you that the reason I came to Genentech was because I thought they hired the best people, the smartest, the most intelligent people who knew cl clinical without ever being clinic themselves um, and they were caring and kind and you my friend are the epitome of that and I told Ann that I said Alan's the reason I came to work here I didn't know that at the time but that is so you're one of my most all-time favorite people um, you're just you're just all around a great guy and you're not only intelligent you're thoughtful you're kind you're you're strategic, and most of all, you're witty. And that's what I really love about you. So I'm just gonna reflect on two moments that I think were your best gigs here at Genentech after I take a sip. And that one was when you were Santa at our post, post bold um, 2016 Christmas meeting. And maybe you remember this guy. And I'm not sure if Chrissy knows, but every woman in the two divisions, Baltimore, Washington, Pennsylvania, sat on your lap to get their presents. And I think most of the guys did too. And that, at, at least Dan Capazzoli and John and Nazi sat on your lap. I know that. <laughs> so anyway, um, that was one of your fine moments. I did unearth a video from them, and I'm not sure. This hasn't circulated a whole lot, and I'm gonna send it to Chrissy, but I just wanna give you a little inkling of what it's like, because we did this at the same meeting. This is where we, we, we taped us singing Let's Work Together by Canned Heat. And I just want you to take a look at you and Nazi and John in this. You and Nazi are a little close. Anyway, I'll let you enjoy the whole video when I send it to Chrissy. But your other gig that was really good was when you tried to be Troy Palomalo. Now, putting hair on you is always an interesting thing. Um, and I was lucky enough to snap a picture. And this picture has been in my office, framed on my wall. And I think maybe is the way to go. I'm not sure you pulled that one off at all. If you'd like a 8x10 signed copy of this, I can get it for you. Um, I always loved hanging with you at meetings. Although we always hated the dressing up, we always end up having fun. But my most favorite thing of hanging with you at the meetings was when we would sit and talk about our families. And uh, you always got that little smile on your face, the twinkle in your eye. When you talked about your beautiful wife, Chrissy, and your four kids. And if you listen to me drone on and on and on about mine as well. That was one of my most favorite things to remember. But seriously, um, Alan, I learned so much from you. Your approach, the way you spoke to physicians, to staff. I think the way that you were able to be comfortable with that pause in conversation, that silence and not having to fill it. 
that was one of my biggest learns from you. You had such great relationships. Um, everybody hung on what you had to say. Again, I just can't say enough great things about you and I'm glad you're my friend. So, Christy said keep it short, but you do have to remind her that I'm a yellow, if she knows what that is, and that I tend to go on and on and on and on. But at this point in time, I think it's time that we bust out the champagne, little bottle. Oh, if I can do it. I didn't rehearse this part. Oh, Lord. There we go. And I raise my glass to you. And say, Alan, you had an illustrious career at Genentech. Congratulations on the impact you made on patients' lives, on your coworkers, on my life. I'm so happy for you to start the next chapter of your life. And I just want to remind you that four years ago, when we were doing this bold, you and I were both vocal at a couple different meetings about giving early retirement to, to those more senior reps like you and I. And why didn't they give us a buyout? Well, my friend, we got it. They're paying us to retire. What's better than that? So to retirement, to a dear friend, I miss you. I'm completely, probably gonna cry because you know I cry all the time. Um, and I just wanna read you something. I took a little liberty with this. May the road rise to meet you. May the wind be always at your back, especially when you're biking. May the sun shine warm on your face and you smell the salt air especially in Bethany Beach. May the cuckoo clocks that you repair always end up cuckooing. May God hold you in the palm of his hand. And by God, may this damn COVID end so that Tom and I, and you and Chrissy, can meet at Blue Coast and toast this in person. Congratulations, my friend. I love you. Cheers. Prost.